it. I can oh, feel it. Their backs are turned. close. Where I'll do it. Hey, you! You need to let me out of here. Look, I need to get out of here. Okay, these blood eagles, they're gonna kill me. But only after they mess me up. You get me? No, it's not gonna be pleasant. Oh, for 
the love of... All right, quick version. Okay. I used to be part of this gang. I left, they nabbed me, and now they want to make a lesson out of me. How's that? Now you're talking. Okay, the key should be around here somewhere. All right, probably in the room where the guy running this place sleeps. Be careful. Please. I thought I heard something. Ugh, this place. Oh, thanks. We're not in the clear yet, are we? All right, listen. I need to ask you for one other thing before we get out of this place. The gang took a bunch of my stuff. Right, things that I need in order to track down their leaders. Can you help me get them back? No, it's mine, okay? I've already spent too much time gathering information on these idiots. I can't afford to start over. Believe me, if I wanted you to steal something for me, I'd be straight with you about it. It's my bag full of radio signals, contacts, maps, general notes that I took so I could destroy these shits once and for all. Uh, also, has some of my personal belongings in it. A, a sketch I, I made for a bar I wanted to open someday. When things settle down. <laughs> Goals, <laughs> you know? Good. All right, I'll run interference while you get the heck out of here. Just distract those morons. You know the drill. Where should we meet up after all this? Do you have some sort of place where you're squatting? Or... <sighs> nope. Look, after they grabbed me, the gang burned my digs to the ground. I got nothing. Okay, sounds like a plan. Okay, but, 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 but I need you to build something uh, that I can recognize from, from a distance. If I see it at your place, I'll know I'm welcome. In my bag, I've got a sketch of something that should do the trick. You'll know it when you see it. I overheard they took my stuff to the sludge works. Now, it's not too far from here, I think. Okay. Wish me luck. Good one, I hope. Wow! Oh, the bar looks great! <laughs> I mean, even better than I'd imagined. And thanks for giving me a place to crash, huh? <laughs> Why, uh... Why'd you break me out of Rollins, anyway? I mean, you don't know me. I... I could be a bloodthirsty maniac. An axe-wielding ex-con. A door-to-door -door salesman. Ah, a do-gooder, huh? Well, I can work with that. I've met some of your kind before. Listen, I don't, uh, I don't get it, but uh, whatever turns you on, I guess. Ah, look, uh, I'm gonna make this short and sweet. Now, these blood eagles are bad news, and they need to go down hard. Now, you already stuck it to them once at the labor camp, so I know you've got what it takes. You feel like helping me wipe out the rest of these chumps? Ha <laughs> ha! Now that's what I'm talking about. If we want to take the Blood Eagles down, killing the sheep isn't going to do the trick. We need to go after the shepherds. But before we head down that road, we'll need help. Which means I need to... Right a few wrongs. Oh, of course not. But taking down the top dogs would reduce them to a bunch of unorganized stragglers. And that's why we concentrate on targeting their leadership. Oh, I don't know. 
Take your pick. I've stolen, I've looted. Pretty much pulled every dirty trick in the book. Well, since I'm not exactly responder material, that doesn't leave me many options now, does it? Let's just say I tend to keep mixed company. Don't worry, though. I'm pretty sure my friends will help us out. Well, I, uh, I think so, anyway. Ah, good. And I know exactly where we should start. Best bet would be my old pal Edwin. To, uh, piss him off, I stole his stupid diary. So, uh, if we want his help, we need to get it back for him. Can you handle that? Well, he's the leader of a different gang of raiders. Really tough guy. Sharpened his teeth to points. You know, classy. See, his diary has a lot of, uh, precious, sad little secrets. Uh, stuff you wouldn't want your gang to hear, if you catch my meaning. Well, to impress the Eagles, I sort of stole the diary and stashed it away. So, he's not exactly thrilled with me right now. Thanks. I'll put the word out for a mutual contact while you're out. See if I can arrange for a meeting. And also, before you head out, thanks for letting me stay here with no strings attached. <laughs> Yet. Anyway. Huh? <laughs> I'll pull my weight around here. I will. Unless they don't let live. So, did you find it? Truly? Well, that's good to hear because I have more for you to do. And I've got a buddy named Sage who joined a stupid cult and got himself swept up into their nonsense. I, uh, need you to find him. Get him out of there. And in the meantime, I'll try and get this, uh, diary back to Edwin. Maybe that'll convince him to back us up, hmm? Sound good? Sage. He's, a, a violent murderer, a sloppy thief, and used chems until his brain rotted down to almost nothing. Now he sees the world differently than we do. The last time I saw him, I was trying to get out of the Blood Eagles, and he was joining a new cult. Well, for a while, he was into a Tato cult. They just spoke to and then ate Tato's. Um, <laughs> I try not to judge, you know, so... Moving on, uh... Then he was in a cult that believed we were all living in some kind of terminal program or robotic AI unit. Uh, I don't remember anymore. Uh, then he did some, uh, Mothman thing. Uh, might still be his jam. Or maybe he's into some other cryptid now. <laughs> it, uh, it doesn't matter, honestly. Seriously? Weird. I didn't even pay you anything. You're kind of creeping me out, honestly. Before you go, care for a drink or anything? I might still be. I gotta check my membership cards. But seriously, yeah, it was fun. Rough, but fun. Picked up the wrong sort of attention and got pulled in the wrong direction. Bam, instant blood eagle. 
Worst Blamco product ever. All I have left is a brother. Name's Frankie. But that's, uh, that's something we can talk about some other time. Well, if you see me again, then everything went swimmingly. Am I worthy? This is a worthy death. I fear nothing. Your mom is with me. I must be strong. The light is eternal. <clears throat> Stuff right here. Let me. Ah, uh, he ran off, right? Yeah, he does that. Oh, don't worry, he'll find us when he wants to. But in the meantime, words come back from Edwin. Turns out recovering his sad little diary isn't gonna be enough, so I thought of another idea find the stolen key to his weapons cache. Now that, and killing the traitor that took it, might be enough to flip him in our direction. Uh, someone from Edwin's gang decided they wanted out. Uh, honestly, Edwin can get uh, pretty weird, so I can't say I blame them. But anyway, this idiot thought stealing the key and then blaming it on a rival gang would cause all sorts of problems for Edwin. And, uh, they were right. Ah, some nobody who thinks they have it all figured out. I don't even know their name. Hell, I don't even want to know. I just want that key. You do-gooders are something else. You know that, right? I'll be stuck here waiting for Edwin to make peace, so... Thanks for stepping up. Again. The weapons cache isn't really the point. This traitor is clearly trying to goad Edwin's gang and a rival gang into a confrontation. Big mistake. Uh, he wasn't interested in meeting with me just yet. Uh, he can't trust me. So, he sent someone from his gang. Ronnie. She accepted the journal on his behalf and said he'd meet me here at your place soon. When he feels like it. She said I should wait for him. Sounds good. And if you happen to find the traitor who stole the key, offing them might uh, be a good idea. Ah, 
Ah, you got the key. Nice. Look at you. You're an animal. You know that? I Never a dull moment. I'm glad you found Edwin's key. Damn guy won't shut up about it. Anyway, while you were gone, I reached out to Ronnie from Edwin's gang. And they want their key back, but they also want the traitor who stole it dead. The good news is, oh, we finally have a name for this genius. Bronx. <laughs> Cute, huh? Well, Edwin's her uncle, and someday when he kicks it, the gang goes to her. But the truth is, she's been leading that gang for years already. Having a tentative agreement with her is almost better than having a true handshake with him. Oh, they, uh, have a bit of a history. Edwin used to walk around with this giant, fat cat perched on his shoulder. He loved that cat. Uh, I bet you can guess what the Blood Eagles did, right? <laughs> That's right. They stole his cat, skinned it, and cooked it for dinner. Then they sent the bloody pelt back to Edwin in a sack. <laughs> Classy, right? You got it. I bet there's a stash around there, too. So keep your eye out. You want a drink before you head out? Or what? Ooh, I kind of like this. I got the bigger plan, I find the pieces, you execute them. I feel like some sort of mastermind. Way. Oh, there you are, Sage. How you feeling, pal? No time to chit-chat, Beckett. Oh, I see you found a friend. Here for the party? Nah, there's no party, buddy. My friend was the one who freed you. You remember? Remember? Yeah, sure. I saw it first, felt it last. Good times. <gasps> oh. We're gonna need more cake. I know he looks completely hopeless, but I promise you, it was worth springing him out of that place. Sage? Buddy? Pal? Friend? Can you hear me? Hey, I need your help. Now we're taking down the Blood Eagles. All of them. Now to do that, we need to cut off the head. You get me? No, 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 not the head. 
Cut out the heart, the supply at the cave. The cave. Ooh, spooky. Cave, cave, cave. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. The cave. Got it. And Sage, you better come back later for the other questions. Okay? And try to drink some coffee or something. You're killing me here. Thank <sighs> Ronnie is gonna be thrilled to hear the betrayer is also dead now. He has. Um, I don't even know his full story, honestly, but, uh... Well, he is useful. Nah, he's always been able to help me out. He just, uh, you know, sees things differently. Okay, look, if we want to take out the Blood Eagles, we need to cut off the supply before we cut off the head. Now, the cave is where the Blood Eagles store their supply of buff out. Now, without it, well, it'd be harder to convert new members. See, the Blood Eagles are led by three vicious maniacs. The Blood the eye, and the claw. And when I say maniacs, I'm, uh, I'm being polite. No, he's not crazy. Just misguided and burned out. That's what messing with all these cults will do to you. Okay. Just look. Not everybody had a charmed existence outside of the vaults, you know? Some of us got burned. Hard. Literally. <laughs>